Ah, good. Everything is ready. We just need the Necrostar's core now. They've been battling to retrieve the major matrices since the Tether system malfunctioned. The operation is going well. We've also detected the Shorekeeper's presence within these matrices. She's been recovering the affected frequencies. We, the Black Shores, always work together as a team. Please place it on the analyzer, and then we can proceed with the remodulation. Once it's completed, the data overflow from the Tethys system will cease. Stellar Matrix confirmed. Classification. Necrostar. Would you like to start the remodulation? Loading backup data from the Necrostar. Simulating the port city of Guishu. Backup data loaded. Please confirm. That's the digital entrance of the Matrix. It worked! To complete the remodulation, just enter the Matrix and collect Tethys' redirected data. Please wait. The Tether system now uses less of my computational power, since the Necrostar was controlled. I can assist you. Please let me come with you. I must keep my promise. It's fine. I can link with more Sonoro spheres to stay functional. My duty must be fulfilled as long as I still physically exist. I'll be fine. From now on, no one will ever be harmed. Please, trust me. The port city of Guishu. It once embodied the metropolitan dream. Confidence and ambition fueled its growth, pushing the entire world forward. People sailed every sea, explored every land. Everyone had food and shelter, living in peace. Spirits were high, optimism as tall as the skyscrapers. A bright future was surely inevitable. Or so they thought. See that brightly lit building? It was the tallest, reaching high enough to touch the heavens. It was an era of high aspirations and big dreams. Life had infinite possibility. Humanity's aspirations soared beyond the stars, searching for the edge of the universe itself. Yes, because it was there, well within our reach. Until...
I've never been to this city myself, not even in the Sonoro. You were the one who told me about its rise and fall. You've always been a witness. I remember your smile when you described how prosperous it was. But perhaps you had already foreseen its end and the issues that threaten us today. The lament will strike here in one hour. My computations only recreated the city as it was in its final hour before disaster. The more steps we take, the closer we draw to the inevitable destruction. The moment the lament starts is our chance to retrieve the data. I'm sorry. We could never change history, or the future that already happened. As one who has already walked this path, what did you experience? How did you feel about it? No. I ask because I want to know. Would you like to share it with me? We need its help to get past the blockade. My ability to manipulate portals functions more efficiently within this Sonoro-made space. Both the entrance and exit portal can be controlled now. Let's give it another try. The tea served here has a distinct flavor. Do you like tea? I see. The Bank of Life preserves many tea seeds. Perhaps we could plant a few in the greenhouse. Or I could store tea leaves in my Sonoro, if you need them for your journey. Oh, I see. Understand. If I know you will enjoy it, it's no trouble for me. <gasps> Whoa, didn't expect customers at this hour. We don't usually take orders now, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I get you? We have to find a way around these blockades and use the key to unlock the gate. The portals might be able to help you.
Please have them. I hope they will prove useful. Threat detected. Assisting elimination. Fury boils. Inferno. Burn to ashes. Digital tacit discords have infiltrated this place. It means we're nearing the source of the lament. We are about to see the beginning of the lament. In ten minutes' time. Back then, the Black Shores issued a lament warning to the city. Unfortunately, the lament swept through much faster than the Tether system anticipated. You dispatched all available personnel to assist Huang Long in evacuation. But in the end, some lives couldn't be saved. Yes, she was one of the many casualties. As a bloom bearer, she was on the front lines of evacuation and rescue efforts. Yet human strength is a mere whisper against the lament's roar. You've always believed in this. The Black Shores uphold this belief, and so did Hoda. Yes, just up ahead. But I'm not sure if seeing her is the right thing to do. Shores, huh? Uh, too late. It's all over. Nobody will make it out alive. This building? This building is our grave. A grave for fools who attempted to touch the heavens. Someone, please save us. No! It's already too late for me. Take my daughter. My poor baby girl. She can still live. from the Black Shores. Calm down. Let me examine you. Yes, and you? Wait a moment. It's you. You finally found us. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm Hoda, the bloom bearer of the Black Shores. It's been a long time since we talked face to face, my mentor. Ever since that day, both I and those engulfed by the lament have become part of the black hole. The Tethys system later contained it, 
turning it into a new necrostar. I have always known about this. But the necrostar integrated into the core logic of the Tethys system. So I could not interfere. Tethys can observe the lament because it understands its nature. The best way to fully understand something is to study a perfect replica in a controlled environment. Tethys has been selectively containing lament sources to drive its analysis of other occurrences. It's the only effective solution so far. That's why Tethys contained this necrostar. I'm part of it now. But I've never forgotten my duty as a bloom bearer. Not for a moment. For those in disaster, the name Black Shores brings hope. You're the one keeping the necrostar in check from within. I did my best, just like you are. The only difference is I'm just a shadow. I've lost track of how long it's been, but at some point, I realized that the lament follows patterns and can be controlled, much like the necrostar itself. But I couldn't share my theories with anyone. Nothing escapes a black hole. I could only hope for your arrival one day. Despair, obsession, resentment, remorse, emotions stirred by the lament have torn us apart. Much like the tidal forces around a real black hole. But just like the lament itself, those emotions are also frequencies. Tethys likely harnesses them in order to... It's calling. The Tethys system is attempting to activate the Necrostar program again. We once felt as lost as you do now, but your wisdom showed us a path we could follow. Please, my mentor. Please free us from this endless cycle. Use the gravity. It's the only law from the old world that still holds true today. It seems the Tethys system has been hiding things from us. We're still unable to fully explain issues related to gravity with post-Lament science. Perhaps that's why Tethys even risked integrating the Lament and Necrostar into its core logic. But our time is running out. We have to terminate the Necrostar to complete remodulation. It will be... challenging. Please allow me to accompany you. This is my request as a member of the Black Shores. And it's also... my personal request. Echoes of the past.
Is there anything of interest? Severely corrupted data detected. It's right behind this gate. I'll work to stop it spreading. Please be careful. At your disposal. Quack later. Seven. Fury boils. Inferno. Use your grapple quickly. The Necrostar is right ahead. That piano is the modulation interface. Please be careful. This place is filled with... hatred. Leave me a burn! Hey, well not. In war with time. Loading. You're wide open. Fury boils. Feel my wrath. Ready for battle. Huh. Tell truth on the side. Wind Rider. story later when we meet again farewell backup plan enabled You're here. I didn't expect us to find each other here. This is the deepest part of the Tethys system. Our shore. Just for us. Hmm. I like this starry sky. So much. Long ago. You likened Solaris's collected data to stars. 
the stars of humanity itself. Whenever I gaze at this sky, there is always one bright roving star. Just seeing this star is enough to calm any restless thoughts. It brings me peace. And now, this star is here, right before me. I used to think my duty was to guard the Black Shores, obeying the Tethys system's every command. But you showed me another way. You've shared so much with me about the world beyond, about yourself, about the past, present, and future. I remember the field of flowers we once saw in Rinesita, how beautiful those daisies and violets were. Being with you always makes me feel something. Something I couldn't quite understand at the time. Come to think of it now, it must be... happiness. You made me realize that protecting the Black Shores isn't my only duty. Because... There is more to life than duty. You should go now. Continue your journey in Solaris and live a life of your own choosing. Have you forgotten? I am the Sonoro's creation. The Sonoro will never fade away, and I will continue to serve. We shall meet again, somewhere in the future. The Tethys system needs a core unit capable of feeling emotions to function. If the Lament's data ceases to be the core, someone must fill that void. Neither you nor the victims in Guishu deserve such burden. My journey ends here, but yours must continue. No one will ever be harmed again, just as I promised. I'm truly sorry. This is the only way to keep everyone safe. I alone shall bear this price. I'm grateful to have you here on this shore. I couldn't ask for more. No matter where you go, even to the ends of the earth, the Black Shores will always be your harbor. No matter how far you go, I will always be here, watching over you. Could this feeling be... love? Goodbye.
The corrupted data is contained. The Necrostar's event horizon is stable and the data hub is back online. We did it. The Tethys system is back online. The rover, you did it. Wait, where's the shorekeeper? Wasn't she with you? What? But she has admin access to the Tethys system. How could she just disappear like that? No, that can't be right. What do you mean? You mean... Oh, I get it. This is unprecedented. We've never considered observing a Necrostar before, but I remember reading about similar theories in ancient texts. It might just work. Attention all units. Our observation target is now the Necrostar. Deploy all available equipment. Understood. It'll take some time. We must save the Shorekeeper at all costs. The Black Shores can't afford to lose her. Mom, we've pinpointed the Shorekeeper's location in Tethys. And not just her. We've identified the relative positions of everyone captured by the Black Hole beyond the event horizon. To rescue them from the Necrostar, we'll have to redesign it using the principles of the New World. In other words... But the Tethys system's programming is impeccable, almost otherworldly. Is it really possible to do that? Besides, we still need a decoy with the highest level access to divert its computational power so we can find the Shorekeeper. No, it's too risky. We can't be sure if the rescue will succeed, and we can't afford to lose another member. And there isn't anyone with higher access than the Shorekeeper. 